Cross-site request forgery is a weakness allowing one application to make requests on behalf of another. Most applications know who you are by having you enter in your username and password. In order to not have to enter your password on every page, the application creates a special cookie to identify you. This cookie is stored within the browser to be included on future page requests. Let's take a look at a simple update email page of a web application. The form on the page actually consists of HTML elements to describe what information is to be submitted. In this case, we are submitting up our email address. When we make this request, it may look like the URL at the bottom of the page. Notice the email address at the end. How does the application know who wants to update their email address? The previous URL just showed some of the information included in the update email request. Here is the raw request, which includes request headers or some extra information. The first thing to notice is the URL of the request highlighted here. The next item is the cookie specified. This cookie identifies the user to the application and is automatically attached by the browser. Now, let's imagine you are visiting this simple website at developsec.com. Harmless, right? If we look at the page source, we can see that the page is making a request to that same update email call on jardinesoftware.com we looked at earlier. When the browser sees this request, it will check its cookie store for any cookies related to jardinesoftware.com. If it finds them, it will attach them to that request, even if the request was from another site. With the cookie attached, notice that the forged request looks the same as the real request from the real user. It contains both the new email address and the session ID cookie we saw earlier. To the application, this is a valid request that will cause the email address to be updated. 